Phil from Two Forks here. So during COVID, when nobody could get any material or go anywhere during that fun time, I was just taking stuff and trying to make things, anything that I had left over, and I didn't have that much. I had this piece of pine from my hardwood floor guy I brought it over to show me what it would look like after it got stained because I had those floors up in one of my rooms. And so I just made this box for no particular reason other than trying to keep my sanity during that whole lockdown period. So now I've decided I'm going to try to make a cabinet out of this. Just a little small cabinet that I'll keep who knows what in. But I enjoy the challenge. I'm going to try and make it out of this. Obviously it used to be part of some construction project. See if I can use that. And I've got this piece too that's similar to it. About an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter thick or something like that with some nail holes in it and another hole for who knows what right there. I don't know. But that's what I'm going to try and do. And I'm going to I'm take you along with me. And at the end of it, I'm either going to have a pretty cool little cabinet or I'm going to have a lot of nice kindling. We'll see which one it is. So here's what we're working with. I don't know how wide it is. What do we got here? About eight and a half inches wide. About an inch and a quarter thick. Obviously, we're going to have to cut this off. We don't want to see that. So effectively, we got about 12 inches. That big hole is at about 11 and a half. So we'll have to try and avoid that also. And I think what we're going to try and do is I'll, I'll cut this I'll cut this in half somewhere right down this, the middle of this this red or grain and those those will become the two faces of the door the door, two door panels and I'll cut this in half and then I'll rip it on the bandsaw so that each one of these is about a quarter inch thick and I'll use those as the panels what's left here this other half I'll use that as the rails and styles for the door, I think. And then who knows what we'll do with this. We'll see if we can make the, the frame of the of the cabinet out of that, if we have enough of it. Uh, I think we have some, we might have to use something else for, oh, we already have this. What am I talking about? I was thinking we were going to try and use this as the box, but yeah, this is, this is already our box. So who knows? Well, this will all end up somehow being incorporated into the doors probably, and maybe incorporated into the drawers. So that's the plan. It gets a little tricky, especially with my junky bandsaw to try and cut these that thin. I'll, I'll probably cut them a little bit thicker, run it through the planer and uh, see if we can get it right. The tricky thing with these, when you cut them this thin, is they, they, they start to want to curve pretty quick. I think if we're, they're only four and a quarter, whatever they're going to turn out to be, four inches wide, I think we should be okay. Maybe I'll poly them really quick to see if that, if that keeps them from going south, but that's usually the problem. The other tricky thing is when you're, when you're trying to cut a groove into these rails and styles that are, that's only this quarter inch or three sixteenths or whatever, we're going to end up making it, uh, that, that can get a little sketchy. So I think we'll we'll do it on the table saw, but I'll probably make some kind of jig to, to hold it down and move it through because I don't really want to push a tiny little piece through there with my fingers. So th that's the plan. And let's see if we can pull it off. So we're going to cut this board base. Whoops, seized. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we're going to pretty much cut this board in half right, right down the middle of this red section. And uh, that's going to eventually give us our two door panels after we, you know, cut these in half and so forth. And we'll take this one, use the middle section against the fence, and then cut off what's left. And those are uh, eventually become our door panels. We'll uh, have to cut them for thickness and, and all that. But uh, I'm happy with it. They, they came out about the way I was hoping. So originally I thought we'd cut these on the bandsaw or our little door panels, the quarter inch thing, but I, I don't think my bandsaw can handle it. So we're going to cut it first on the table saw. I've already cut the other one. And so we'll cut this little quarter inch panel and then flip it over and, and cut it again. And I'm going to leave about three quarters of an inch left on there because even my bandsaw can handle that. And uh, it makes it a little bit easier to, to do. Uh, so you can see that we got a pretty nice cut. And uh, it's going to be kind of an easy thing to do on the bandsaw. So I think we're in, we're in good shape. So this should be a piece of cake even for my bandsaw and this dull blade to just cut that little 
three quarters off of here. So you just get as close to the quarter inch panel as you can when, when you're cutting this and then we'll just, uh, sorry about that, and just move right in front of the cut. I like to pull it from behind when I'm doing this because it, it, when you get down to the end, it starts to go pretty fast and I really don't want to run my thumb through there. So uh, I pull it from the back. Th again, this is just a rough cut, so it, it's no problem to do it that way. And now all we have to do is uh, run this little guy through the planer and we'll have a pretty nice flat quarter inch panel. So now we have our two pieces left over from the cutting of the door panels and we're going to turn those into our rails and styles. So we'll run them through the joiner real quick to get a nice edge on one side. And I like to mark which side I just ran through the joiner because I tend to forget. And I want to put that side up against my fence. So we're cutting these about an inch. I think maybe we trim them back down to about three quarters uh, after we took a look at it and saw that the proportions were quite right at an inch. But it's roughly about right. And it looks like I'm doing some dangerous stuff when I'm reaching across the table saw, but it's just because the video is kind of sped up. It, I'm actually really careful not to reach across and grab stuff that's going to suck my hand into the blade. I, I really don't want to do that, and I recommend you don't either. So I am being careful. It just looks kind of fast. So now we have our pieces set, our rails and styles all cut, and we'll take those over to the router table and route them. So originally I said I was going to do this on the table saw, but uh, it occurred to me that it would just be a lot easier to do it on the router table with a quarter inch router bit. So that's what we're doing. And I, yes, I realize that we're going to see the dado on the rails, but that's okay. I'm going to just fill that in with a little piece of wood because for this effort, I, I don't feel like doing a stop dado. So I'm not. And that little tool is called the gripper. And if you find one, buy it because they're really, really good for for doing things like this, smaller little pieces. It holds it to the fence and it holds it down. So it's a great little tool. So overnight, I glued up the doors. Uh, they worked out pretty much the way I thought they were gonna work out, which is good. They just need to be shaped just a tiny little bit to fit in the box. I don't think the box is perfectly square. So we gotta do a little of this, a little of that, and we'll, we'll get there. But it's upside down right now, so now we can mark where we need to have the, the floor of this area put in. And I'm going to use this piece that we had for both the little floor right there and for the front of the drawer. I think that'll look kind of nice. It'll match up with the rest of it. The problem is, is I got to cut it in half in order to do that. So we're going to give that a shot. And I'm going to try and do it on the bandsaw because, as I mentioned before. When you cut pieces like this, usually it doesn't really matter unless you're in some sort of challenge to use as little wood as possible. The, the table saw will take too much of this out. Now, I'll be left with pieces after you plane them and make them smooth that'll be smaller than this 5 16 on the front. And it, it won't be big enough really to do the front of the drawer either. So I'm going to give it a shot on the bandsaw. And as I've mentioned a hundred times, my bandsaw is not very good. But the blade on the bandsaw is only a 30 second. So I, I have a little bit of margin of error. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm either going to have one piece or maybe no pieces. I don't know what exactly is going to happen here, but we're, we're going to give it a shot because that's part of the fun. So here goes nothing. I hope this works out and doesn't ruin both pieces, but uh, we're going to give it a go. And as you can tell by all the smoke and stuff, this, this bandsaw is not up for the challenge. That's just a piece of pine, keep in mind. It's not actually hard maple or anything. So it's definitely time for me to get, A, a new blade and probably, B, a new bandsaw. But uh, this video is sped up like 300%. So you, you can imagine how slow I'm actually going to cut this. And uh, it, it ends up being all right. And, again, I pull from the backside because, you know, if the blade's, like sort of coming out at the bottom and, and there, it's not in the middle sometimes that can go really fast at the end and uh, you don't want your finger anywhere near there boy that's a lot of smoke jeez i need a new bandsaw but i think it came out all right it worked it actually worked out pretty well because i wanted the face of this drawer to be slightly thicker so even though it got a little weird at the end there, 
after I ran it through the planer, this piece was a little thicker, and this little piece that's just friction fit in there right now for the bottom of the door cabinet is uh, worked out to be 5 sixteenths, just what I needed it to be. So sometimes luck's better than skill, I guess. So now comes the fun part, you know, the mortising of the hinges. And I don't know about you guys, but I hate it. I, I just hate it. I hate doing it. It's such a pain. It takes forever and it's, it's easy to make a mistake. And, you know, especially when you have little boxes like the one I'm working on, uh, it's hard to get the chisel and in, in sometimes in where you want it. As you can tell, I'm spinning the box and flipping it and trying everything to get it right. But uh, it, it's a pain. Um, so make sure you have a good sharp chisel and a decent knife to cut the edges and, and it can, it can come out fine, but it, it takes a long time and, and I, it's just something I really don't like, like to do, but, uh, these have removable pins. And I think I mentioned it later that that's the way to go. It makes it a lot easier, the hinges so that you can, you don't have to take them on and off all the time to, to set it up. Uh, it makes it a lot easier. So here, I think it's going to fit just about right. And I hope so, because this took a, a long time. And as I said, I, I really don't like doing it. We'll see how it turns out. So the installation of the hinges went just like that. Snap. Everything went in perfectly. Never did. It never does. I had to mess around with them a little bit to get the reveals right, but eventually I got it the way that I want it. Um, when when you're doing these little cabinets, and if, there, if it's nothing fancy, and you're kind of using these less expensive hinges, get hinges that have uh, removable pins when you're doing cabinets, like even though these are upside down, because you don't want to take those screws in and out too many times because the, the threads are so fine that when you, when you start to do it a bunch of times, it, it, they, they start to get a little bit wonky and they don't want to, they, they lose their purchase. So it's easier when you have to take these out and sand them and following or whatever you're going to do with them to just take the pins out. It's, it's, it's much better. So do that. So this worked out about the way I was hoping it was going to work out. And uh, I decided not to make the drawer. I'm going to leave that open because I have this one piece and I didn't want to cheat really. So what I'm going to do is actually put a shelf in here so I can put even more of who knows what in there. I don't know what, but that, that'll be perfect instead of having a little drawer. Not to mention the fact that the drawer would only pull out about two inches before it just fell out of there. So I'm not really sure what, what good that would be. So a shelf will do it. I don't know what the heck I'm going to put in here. Maybe I'll put this duck head in there. I, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but it's been a fun project and I encourage everybody to give it a shot. You know, you did, working with little little cabinets like this, and little doors and all that, when you work with those, it, it actually makes you think a lot about your project and, and how, to, how to stay ahead of it. Because if you cut these little guys and then you have to run them through the router, it's going to be a real pain. So you have to stay one step ahead all the time when you're doing these so that you don't just cut the pieces all up and then realize that, oh my gosh, there's no way I'm going to be able to put all of this together. But it's fun. And uh, so find some piece of wood in your shop and, and, and give it a go. I'm going to poly this one, I think. Um, so I'll, uh, after I get the shelf in, get the poly on and back cut these doors so they actually close. Stop it. Then I'll, I'll, I'll show you what the finished product looks like, but uh, definitely give it a go. And if anybody wants to know what all this nonsense is up on the wall or wants to take a closer look at it, let me know and I'll, I'll tell you what all these ridiculous things are. So uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.